All right, what we're going to do today is show plumbing uh, brake lines and actually fabrication of brake lines with our new Eastwood brake flaring tool. What we have here is an 85 Monte Carlo. What we're going to do, run some lines from the master cylinder, come down here to the OE points on the frame rail, down to the proportioning valve. We don't want to just bend something down here. What we want to do is put some strain reliefs in. So we're going to come down, do a couple coils down there. That way we have some relief from the movement between the frame and firewall here. So let's go bend some. We're starting with our uh, Eastwood's 316 steel brake line. What you want to use is a tubing cutter. Cut nice and slow. What you don't want to do is crush and gouge it. That's what you're going to get with a tubing cutter. Here's a tip. Never just start flaring with that. Get yourself a drill bit of the same diameter. This is 316 we're using. Just run it around in there a couple turns. What that'll do is that'll take that burr right off. Now you got full fluid flow. Take some sandpaper, just walk it across. What that does is that breaks that sharp edge. So now you got ID, OD, perfect. This is the Eastwood brake flaring tool. This is a professional tool here. Uh, some of the flares it can do. There's your standard 45 single. Very easy to use. Set up the mount again in a vise. Quick easy setup. And what it uses is uh, these different die blocks. This is set up for 316. This is our line. So these are the die blocks. This is the, the beauty of this tool. Your line lays in here and is sandwiched between these die blocks. Just set this. This thing will self adjust exactly where you want the line. Go ahead and tighten, double check. All right, now we got a 316 line. So we use what's called Operation 1, OP1. Always, always, always lubricate. Never use anything other than brake fluid. Why would you use any other type of oil and risk uh, cross-contamination on here? So what I like to do is just get a little bit of it, just go right onto the die there. Now what you're lubricating with is the exact brake fluid that's going to be in the system. And then simply, this is great, once you pull to the stop, go to operation 2, 316 operation 2, right here, again. Give it a little splash lubricant. Oh, spin it around. Now let's check that out. That's the flare you're looking for. That's exactly what you want. Now this is the started one. A bunch of you guys are probably thinking, oh, you never put the flare nut on. Well, look at this. This is the first one. So we just take our flare nut. We know what size we're using for the master cylinder. And look at that. That's what you want. All right. What we're going to do is mock up the route of our uh, brake line. I'm just going to use some safety wire here. Uh, you can use a coat hanger. You can use some uh, welding wire, TIG rod. We want to come off rear port of the master cylinder, straight down. Here's where we want to introduce our strain relief. We want to have a coil here. We don't want to just go straight down rigid to the frame. 
like so because anytime we have any movement it's going to start working that line and what it's going to do is it's just going to cold work that line right there and you're going to have a fracture don't want that so we need a strain relief so we're going to put it approximately here so to do that I'm just going to simulate a strain relief coil So we'll come into that port, strain relief, we're going to come straight down, hit the frame, we know we want to hit this OE mount point, turns, got the pressure switch there, but it's going to walk the frame here, and then go right down to this port. So let's go make that. This is the line that we just flared. As you can see, we got, like I said, about three foot of it. So what we're going to do is get some marks. And you can accurately do this. Go to the center of your bend. Approximate a bend radius. What we want to do is we're just going to get a couple marks right now for the geometry of it. And we know we want to start our coil right about here so now you say well how do we get this coil get some PVC you can get this stuff uh, this is two inch maybe a buck you can get this for but what we're gonna do is make our winds right around here now what you want to do you want to keep some spacing so, just rough. I think on this we'll put three turns. Then we got our mark. This is where we know we want our start to be. So I'm going to line that right ahead of me here. Come across. You're holding left hand here. Hold firm. And this hand's going to pull it around. Just simply, you got to get out of the way of it. Simply pull this around. Here's your spacing. Now you slide that out. That's your spacing. Now look at that. Now I'll show you a quick easy way to form some 90s with the Eastwood's brake forming plier and you're going to have a professional looking line. This guy is great. This is our uh, Eastwood brake forming plier right here. It's sized for your most common uh, brake line sizes. And what it's used for is uh, for tweaking and final bending. Even if you buy uh, preformed kits, you're going to need to do some tweaking. But for a lot of us that are making, like we showed, you know, lines from brand new, making sure that they fit the way we want. Uh, tweaking them around stuff even preform kits even if you're gonna run a, um, a line lock you still got to form your own lines for that we're at our bend radius and just flip him upright we'll take that up 90 degrees with a nice nice bin and then this one we want to come over 90 degrees and here's here's another tip here's how you mark your lines see how the sharpie you don't go around the whole line you only mark on the side that you want the 90 to bend or 45 whatever your angle may be but you only mark on that side if you go around the whole thing you're going to get confused and you end up doing a nice you know a nice line that fits nothing but a Mazda so I know that here's my mark I need my 90 to come this way get your 90 the last thing you want is any kind of uh, stress marks on a brake line let's go see how it fits all right here's the completed line first line rough installed well you can see and we mocked it up. 
got our strain relief for our coil here just as we wanted just as OE come on down you can see the masking tape on the lines here is just some more measurements that I had here making sure that we'd come right down we hit dead on to the frame and then right down to a uh, portioning valve that's how easy it is with the Eastwood flare tool alright Thanks, and uh, talk to you next time.